Hey there, YouTube. So I had a a strap button come loose on my PRS, and it's a pretty easy fix. So let's talk about it. Okay, first I want to show you what I'm talking about. This guy came kind of loose, okay? You can see it's wobbling around. Uh, I tried hand tightening it with just a screwdriver, and it didn't work. Well, it did work, but then it came loose again really quickly afterwards, so something was wrong. So if I take this strap off, you can probably see it a little bit better. See how that's wobbling? That's no bueno! So the tools you're going to need are a screwdriver or a drill, some toothpicks, scissors, and wood glue. Start by taking this bad boy out. Now, if it's completely stripped, you won't need to do this, right? It's already going to be out of there. Okay, and then I'm going to grab some toothpicks. And just see kind of how many I can get in here. It looks like this is just going to be two. I'm going to cut the ends off. Right, so here. Pointy. Not pointy. <laughs> this one might actually only take one. Yeah. I think I'm only going to be able to fit one toothpick in there. Okay, and then I'm going to grab it with my thumb. Keep track of how long that is. Oop, I put the wrong end in. Grab it with my thumb. Pull it out. See how long it is, and then cut it. I'm going to put my guitar down. <laughs> Alright, so I've got one little piece here. That's of toothpick. I'm going to take it and line it up with a second one just in case I end up needing a second one. And cut it to the same length. Okay, now take your wood glue. Put just a little bit on here, okay? I literally only put about a drop on here. And then I'm going to just kind of smear it around with my finger a little bit. I'm going to try and get a second chunk of toothpick in, just because if it's a little bit tighter, that's, that's a good thing. So I'm going to put a little wood glue on that one as well. Arr. Okay, now that I've got these glued up, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Be careful here, you don't want to get wood glue on the finish of your guitar. If they end up a little bit too long, like this one, you yeah, know, the second one is pretty tight in there. I'm going to try and push it down with the drill a little bit. And it just snapped off. Um, cut off the excess with your scissors. Again, be careful that you don't scratch the finish on your guitar. Alright, and then I'm going to try and push these down one more time. Okay, so let me give you a close-up. You can see from this angle, you don't see the the, uh, the toothpicks. That's because I pushed them down in there. From up here, 
that little light spot that you're seeing, that's the toothpicks. Now the wood glue says it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to set up, so I'm gonna leave this for half an hour and let it kind of dry a little bit, and then I'll be back and show you the last part. Well, I'm back, and this has been sitting for about half an hour, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is to put the strap button back on. You should have noticed a little felt piece when you took it off, so grab your strap button, put that little felt piece back on, and then you're gonna grab your guitar, and line this up kind of in the center of that hole. And then you're gonna grab your drill, or screwdriver, whichever you're using, and put it in. Essentially what you've just done is given that screw some surface area to grip onto. So instead of having the hole be oversized, now it's undersized and it can grab onto something. And you can see no more wobble. That's good stuff. Well, that's it. Uh, one word of caution. Anytime you're using a drill, I know I've said this a few times now, but I'm going to keep hammering it in. Anytime you're using an electric drill with a guitar, Turn the torque way down and use the slow, uh, the slower speed setting so that you know you're not damaging your guitar because you'll be able to hear it. So that's it. Uh, good luck fixing your guitar. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.